We're looking at the uh, indications for the balloon would be a person with a body mass index between 30 to 40, essentially. So generally, it's for people who are looking to lose on average 25 pounds. That would be the expected average, although people have lost up to 45, 50 pounds, even with the balloon, right? So as you are showing in your picture, I do have actually one uh, sample of the balloon here in, in my hand. So that is actually the actual uh, balloon, the Orbera balloon. So it's a good size and it has some weight and it enters the stomach deflated, but once it's in, in the stomach with the endoscope, we are able to inflate it. And so to demonstrate this a little bit more, I actually have this little desk model as well. Be the food pipe and that is the intestine and that is the body of the stomach. And this orange uh, balloon inside it would be the balloon. So. We insert the balloon through the mouth into the food pipe when the person is asleep, just like a normal endoscopy. And then once we're inside, we're able to inflate it. And we inflate it to anywhere between 400 to 700 mLs, essentially. And the balloon then sits within the stomach and it moves freely within the stomach, but it stretches the stomach. It creates a sensation of fullness so the person is not hungry very frequently. Now, this is a totally non-invasive procedure in that we don't go through the skin. There is no wounds, there is no incisions. But also it's important to understand that it's a foreign body inside the stomach. So there is a time limit as to how long we can leave it inside, right, uh, Kamal? And that time limit is actually six months. But our program, as you know, offers a 12 months program, which mm -hmm. means that the person will be seeing a nutritionist and the bariatric doctors uh, surgeons monthly for the six months in which the balloon is inside, but also for another six months afterwards to make sure that the weight that was lost during the balloon actually stays off as the person goes forward without the balloon. Any procedures, there could be risks, whether it's heartburn, nausea, vomiting, or even ulcers, and very, very rarely bowel blockage can happen with the balloon as well, but these things are not very common, and we do many things in uh, a proactive manner to prevent many of the uh, potential uh, complications. So the balloon is one of the options that is there for people who are looking to lose uh, 25 pounds, 30 pounds, 35 pounds. One of the first patients we have done uh, this was Dr. Maida Melendez. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm able, I'm able to share the name because she did actually, uh, she was part of the uh, promotional event. So, uh, and she did lose, I, I, I believe she lost about almost 40 or 45 pounds. So Is not surgery as such that we don't make uh, change, uh, you know, changes in the digestive tract that are irreversible, but we offer a procedure that can give them that extra help they need for them to lose up 25, 30, 40, 45 pounds that they need to lose to be at a healthy weight. So at the surgery center, essentially they would be discharged within a few hours. They just have to, particularly in the early hours and then the, even up to 24, 48 hours, people, because there is this sudden distension of the stomach, they can feel as if they've had two Thanksgiving dinners at once. So they, they may not feel good. And we give them many medications to mitigate that but then that dissipates over time and they feel you know, uh, comfortable without the nausea, but clearly they, you know, their ability to eat a big meal is reduced, the hunger level is lower. And then because gastric emptying is also discouraged with the presence of the balloon, their chances of uh, really not um, um, consuming you know, uh, a lot of calories are good. And then the, the weight loss will occur. It is not a magic answer, just like any of the procedures we do. It does require commitment. None of our procedures, as you come out, as you know, and we see this all the time, are magic answers uh, because obesity is uh, entrenched in the biology of the person. And we're not taking that biology away, but we're providing people a powerful tool for them to be able to really see the weight dropping off.